In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create buttons in PowerPoint that will allow a user to navigate through a PowerPoint on their own, or even for you to create an interactive PowerPoint that you can use in fun and creative ways. So this is basically how they create things like Jeopardy game templates and other types of game templates that allow you to jump around between slides uh, without using that uh, linear navigation that PowerPoints often have. So I'm going to come in here to slide two. As you can see, I've been kind of playing around with this particular presentation. But I'm going to jump over here to slide two. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this text box so it's not in my way. And we'll get started. So the basic idea here is that I want to create some buttons that allow me to move around. And if I'm going to put something into my presentation, I always go up to insert. So I'm going to click on insert. And in this case, PowerPoint has decided that a button is a shape. So we're going to go into the shapes area. And if you click on that drop down menu all the way at the bottom, you'll see this section called action buttons. So PowerPoint has built into it a series of action buttons. Some of these have default programming on them and others are kind of free for you to use as you so choose. So the first button here allows you to go back one slide. The next one allows you to go forward one slide. So these are previous and next buttons. The next ones we have their defaults are to go back to the very first slide or to go to the very last slide. The next one here is to go home. Now the pre-programmed setting on that is to go back to the first slide, but we can also reprogram any of these buttons to go to any slide we choose. So you could use this home button and designate different slides as homes. Uh, throughout your presentation. And you can have different versions of this button depending on where you are in your presentation. So it's not like you program it once and it has to be that way throughout the entire presentation. If I were to create a PowerPoint with multiple sections, like a choose your own adventure or a game or something, I could then have multiple home buttons that would take me to the beginning of that section. All right, we have some others that you can kind of do neat things with. One of these is kind of an info one, so if you have a website that uh, provides additional information, you can program that button to go there. Um, you could create a glossary slide within your PowerPoint and have it go there, lots of different things. This next one is programmed to take you back to the slide you were just on. So if you put in this information button and it took you to a glossary slide, then you could use this return button to get you back where you were. Then there are some others. There's one to play a video. There's one to go to a document. There's one to play a sound. So you can kind of mess with those. There's a help button. So you have, if you have like a tutorials area or something like that, you can go there. And then there's a custom button here at the end. So we'll play with a couple of those. First of all, I'm going to just click on the next button. And notice, just like any other shape, I have to draw that out. Okay. Once I've drawn my shape, I get the action settings dialog box. And that allows me to kind of double check what the uh, settings are for this particular button. So right now we have the mouse click established. The default is that it's going to link to the next slide in the show. Now if you click on this drop down menu, you can see that we could reprogram that any way we want to. Next, previous, that would be kind of weird. Uh, first and last, etc. We can also choose this option here, slide dot dot dot, and that would allow us to choose a different slide in the presentation. So we could have it take us anywhere if we wanted to. Um, and then there's some other options as well. We could have it take us to a URL, another file, etc. Okay. You can also have it play a sound anytime you click on a button. That's kind of fun if you're doing like a, a book on PowerPoint or something like that. It would be like a turn the page sound. Now, there is a mouse over area here, and I would encourage you to be careful with that because if you put a mouse over on a button, let me show you what happens. If I say mouse over to the next slide, and I go to slideshow and test this slide, when I just run my mouse over this, look at that, it changes to my next slide. Now that could be very, very confusing for your user. They're kind of scrolling their mouse around, looking for stuff, and they mouse over it and the slide changes and they're suddenly lost. So be careful with that. I'm gonna create another tutorial that continues this discussion, but those are the basics of using buttons for navigation in PowerPoint.